So, little Chrissy here, little Chrissy has got some more stuff. I have. So we decided to just make another pickups video. And then I got some good stuff. And now Chris doesn't know what I got. He doesn't know, he knows one thing I got because it's one of the things I got from Henry. So, um, so yeah, you want to tell the story about how you double crossed me or? Uh, well, I wouldn't quite go as far as double crossing, but uh, today Wood mentioned me with a, a deal he'd found on uh, Gumtree, which is our Craigslist. I, I assumed he was just letting me know because it's stuff that I've wanted for a while and uh, he knows that I've wanted it. So I went ahead and I did the deal. I didn't tell him because I was driving at the time he messaged me, so I figured he'd be at work and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, I went ahead and did the deal, which was a few games I've already got, Pokemon Stadium and Mario 64. Very faded Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, the stadium's a bit gross, but I'm selling it anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, which have been after for a long time, and as far as I know, this is the only thing you actually wanted in this deal, which is why you wanted to do it. But... And, and the next thing you're going to show, but I didn't know that was in the deal. Um, oh, and yeah, he'd sold one of the games that was in the deal, so he swapped it for this one instead. Mortal which... Kombat. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm much more happy about. So, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Well, combat was a little rare. Yeah, I know, but um, he sold it, so, you know, what am I gonna do? Uh, boxed, complete and box, uh, Pokemon Puzzle League, which is kind of cool, because it's Pokemon, but that's it. And last of all, the uh, Pokemon branded Nintendo 64 which I've been after for a long time, so the whole lot with a couple of controllers and hookups and various cost me 225, which is probably a little more than I wanted to pay, but I'm gonna sell a bunch of the other stuff to sort of make up for that. Now, can we get onto your stuff that I don't know about yet? <laughs> All right, before I do my stuff, I just wanna say, um, um, I forgot to mention it in the last video, but me and Chris did a video for Elizabeth um, that might not actually be in shot, you want to pull it back a little bit. All right. And don't get on my side, because I need, uh, okay, I need my okay, workspace. Okay. Yeah, okay. When I bring out all my pickups. <laughs> um, did a video for Elizabeth, and it was a really, really fun video. Probably like the best, my favorite video that I've done for a while, actually, and it ended up being on her channel. Um, so she's got a new channel. She's the girl that hangs around with um, Retro Liberty, and she's now on Grid Gaming with Aaron. So go check that out. It's actually really funny. Um, I watched it a few times. I really enjoy it. Yeah. And I have people at work coming up to me and saying, hey, I saw that new video of yours. Like, That's not my video. <laughs> but they're like, oh, it was really funny. My favorite one you've done so far. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> That'll really get people to my channel. <laughs> so uh, please go check that out and give her a subscribe. She's an awesome gal. And uh, yeah, thanks, Elizabeth, for um, giving us the idea of that video because it was really fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed making it. Right, or mine, or Kai, or Vegemite. All right, mate. All right, now don't look down here, Chris, because I want it to all come up as a surprise. All right. Can I look now? No. You can look as long as you don't look down there. Okay. Um, for starters, I got a nice. uh, bootleg cart from Henry. I also got, in the last video, my little guy, uh, King Story. Little King Story? Yeah, my little pony. <laughs> little King Story from him, and he also gave me this bootleg cart. Now, Henry, I didn't actually find this out until you left, so if you want this cart back, I'm not gonna stop you because it turns out this actually has 52 games on it, much like the Action 52. Um, but they're actually good games. There are a lot of clones <laughs> of like um, Mario, and there's like a there's like a weird Mario Brothers where it shows you the what's about to come <laughs> next in the first half yeah. of the screen. If I can pull any sort of gameplay, I'll throw it down here. It's really trippy, as well as um, like Ice Climbers and a few really hidden like not hidden gems, a few gems on this cart, so that's really cool. Um, there's some games on there that I don't actually have yet, so it's nice to have, even though they run a little crappy. Yeah. Um, next, Tyler was actually at Game Traders and picked this up for me. He got this for $12. Um, now this this goes for something like, uh, around like 80 to 90 here, something high. Maybe a bit less, maybe 60, maybe I'm overshooting. I'll put it down here. Either way, it's a pretty uncommon game and to find it for $12 was a great deal and he bought it for me. Um, brought it down, then I paid him, and I was more than happy to pay him. So if you want to keep doing all my hunting for me, Tyler, go for it, because that's awesome. Um, the best game in my Sega, my Mega CD collection at the moment. Okay, well, my friend at work said he was going to bring me some stuff that his friend found on the side of the road. He told me he was going to bring some... I knew what they were, he told me what they were, but he said he found them on the side of the road. Now, I said, well, side of the road, I'll probably give, you know, 40, 50 bucks for the two items, 
expected them to be all dinged up, banged up, I'd have to fix them. The only reason that I really wanted one of them is because it's black, and I've been looking for the black one of these for a while, which is probably giving it away to Chris. Um, what I didn't expect though is for the second thing to not only be in great condition for the side of the road, but to be in a box. So, <laughs> wow, an Atari Lynx in a box for technically twenty five dollars if you if you go half half, and um, it's say even in the in the foam still, there's the destructions in there and other things. Destructions is actually what my grandparents call instructions because they're hilarious. Oh yes, and apart from the screen being a little, just like a little like. I don't know, it's not even that bad. It really isn't that bad. Like I wouldn't like, complain. Yeah, a little foggy almost. It's in really nice condition. And uh, for, for a side of the road job, I was really quite happy with that. And then the next thing, that might give it away, a dodgy aftermarket mm. controller. As I've been looking for a black GameCube for a while now, I've also been looking for a Game Boy player for a while now. <laughs> I managed to get a black Game Boy player, so now that's gonna that's gonna match well. But what I didn't expect when he told me that he had a GameCube for me was that it was actually going to come with a Game Boy player. <laughs> wow! And that's kind of why I've kept this a secret from Chris, is because he's uh, been looking for one, and now I, I have him. two. <laughs> so um, I'm really happy with that. There actually, I was hoping for a boot for a boot disc for it in there, but there isn't. I rambled on a lot there. He did, and I want that player. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So that's that's our pickups. We got some more. We got some more to show this you. This is so. we filmed the last one two days ago. I think <laughs> yeah. it was. So yeah. like, yeah. But uh, yeah, you guys seem to take that really well, and you and you, you left some fantastic comments. This is actually in really nice working condition as well. Mm. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, and it's in really great condition for being found on the side <laughs> of the road. I don't know if I believe that. More like stolen from someone else. <laughs> That's all from us, and we will see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching.